you look at a buffalo, you just don't see a big shaggy beast. You see life, you see existence. Those are our relatives. They are part of us. This is the most magnificent mammal on our continent. Its story is so interesting and touches on so many subjects you wouldn't think it would touch on. I wanted to do the American Buffalo because it's the biography of an animal, but it's also a window into a broader American history, the history of indigenous people, capitalism, westward expansion. How do we live with the natural world? When the Europeans come in, everything that's natural has to get out of the way. It's incredibly dramatic. Just the notion that a magnificent animal that once was uncountable could be in a century taken down to fewer than a thousand. How does that happen? To think that our greed and our industrialization would just blink this thing out and we would just say, well, that was then and this is now. I think that this nation is now ready to hear a more honest and balanced telling of this tragic story. We just need to tell the truth and move forward in a way that allows indigenous people and bison and the entire environment of this nation to heal and restore itself. We need the buffalo on this earth to survive as people, not just Indians. We need that spirit. I think the film is really a kind of mirror to us about who we are. Who do we wish to be? Do we wish to be the savers? Or do we wish to be the destroyers? And I'm really thrilled to be able to tell as complex and as tragic, and I have to say as inspirational as this story is.